Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing amazing. And we are here today for our, oh, I need to get on the gram, huh? <laughs> we are here for social media salad, as Kiara calls it, social media salad. <laughs> and this is where we get you to mix the tumble, the lettuce, the croutons, the tomatoes, and the cucumbers about what's going on on social media. And I know, let me tell you, uh, I went to this class the other day and one of the things that they talked about was uh not only staying in your zone of greatness so you don't chase trends but also understanding who you are and what your vision is so you're not trying to do what everybody else is trying to do one of the things i know about uh social media is that it may seem like you behind the scenes. It may seem like you're not in the right spot. But if you just keep standing where you are and doing what you're doing, um, you're going to eventually, it's going to eventually come around. It's kind of like corduroys. <laughs> you keep wearing them. And eventually, uh, Eventually, they're going to come back in the style, okay? Let me get on the gram real quick. Turn my phone off so it don't knock me offline. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I could have been a little more ready, but baby, sometimes you got to get ready on the way down, okay? So good afternoon. Definitely let us know uh, where you're coming in from today. And one of the things that I want to encourage you guys to do today is just to keep your eyes on the money. You know, it's okay to be slightly entertained by the mess from here and there. But in the meantime and in between time, businesses, corporations, uh, especially these big giants, they are giving away money. They're giving away opportunities, certifications, you name it, at the speed of light. As a matter of fact, I sent one of my clients to an event today because I couldn't make it. She said they had 30 bankers, 30 different banks in the room, all with programs for small businesses. And that's one of the things I'm going to be doing on YouTube at 9.30 a.m. and 9.30 p.m. starting on April 1st. Every single day is not just telling you about them, but helping you apply for them. Because I think that, um, you know, it's easy to say we don't have money for this. We don't have money for that. But when they're giving you knowledge, uh, what you call, who is that about to have a big Instagram uh, conference? It's one of these big brands that's about to have a big, oh, Mini Chat. Mini Chat is about to have a four-day Instagram conference where they're doing nothing but giving you the goods on how to get your business on Instagram. So it's easy to say, you know, I can't afford or I don't know or this and that. But the opportunities are out there. And the key is being co connected to the right people and the right place. And one of the things we're going to be doing this Saturday, we're going to have our first social media masterclass for our social media salad, bit.ly slash social media salad to get more information. But regardless as to where you go, and I know as a business owner, we struggle with where do we spend our time on the internet. I'm going to tell you right now, and I'm, I'm a, um, what's the word? I'm a prophet, a P-R-O-F-I-T, okay? And I've told you guys things in the past over the years that have come to fruition. So I'm going to tell you right here and right now, keep your eye on Facebook. Do not sleep on Facebook. Facebook owns Instagram and WhatsApp. Facebook is setting themselves up to be the social media platform for virtual reality. They bought Oculus years ago. 
They are already uh, putting money into black creators. Matter of fact, they had some email today uh, talking about black creators in the um, virtual reality space. Um, so Facebook is going to be the face of uh, the place to be, uh, Kiara, what do you think? Sorry, I absolutely agree. What? <laughs> no, I'm saying I was trying to get my mute off. I thought, uh, I didn't realize you had unmuted me. Anyway, I absolutely agree. 100% when we look at what's going on. And just all of the things that they have done over the past years, not just with the apps that they've owned, but even the way that they have structured um, Facebook, right, to prefer these groups. So, and they ran a whole campaign back. Uh, and really, it kind of started in 2020. You know, that's why I sometimes I'll ask myself, like, is Facebook a part of the powers that be that's controlling the environment or did they were just at the right place, right time? Because right around the time of the pandemic, they started really heavily promoting their groups. And there were even commercials on TV, on Hulu and all these other places saying like, oh my gosh, you know, join these groups of dog lovers, join these groups for pet lovers, join these groups for this one or that one. You're on mute. I can't hear you. They had groups for girl dads. They had groups for dancers. They had groups for equest equestrians. They had groups for everything. Right. And so, you know, back then, we didn't really realize or even understand why Facebook was driving people to groups. And now, if you look at it, I can tell you, they were driving... And, and this is this is um, this is a message to all business owners about getting in, getting out there with your business vision. You should have at least a three-year vision for your business because if you don't, if you're just living in the now and you're spending all of your time trying to create content. And I'm going to show you guys in the masterclass on Saturday, I'm going to show you a simple way to create content for, for, especially for Facebook and get engagement. But if you're spending all of your time trying to create content, what's going to happen is you're living in today and you're not able to flex and live in tomorrow. Hmm. That's very interesting, you know, because one of the things I tell people all the time is that um, I think business owners get too focused on looking at content creation, right? What are you doing? I don't want to talk about what you're going to be teaching in the class, of course, but like, I don't, I want people to get out of the mindset that we need to set aside time as business owners to stage this lifestyle, to stage something that you're not doing already in your life. Right. And I followed this lady on Instagram. She was talking about this. She said lifestyle marketing is and this is something that um, really just speaks to the trends in the marketplace. Right. She said lifestyle marketing is when people go rent houses and rent cars and rent different things. And rent planes. Because I'm not taking a picture with no private plane unless it's mine and take pictures and sell their products or services, right? And it's not their lifestyle because they really fly Delta and drive a Nissan. <laughs> the rent in the house part might be true, but they probably rent a little, you know, one, two bedroom apartment. But then consumers a lot of times get mad when they buy those lifestyle products, right? And this is and the work. Thing that we hear a lot on the internet. They be looking for some depth. No, all the budget went to the marketing. So it is no training. There's no 
right? And so I think when you, and it, again, this is just really pointing to what the marketplace is looking for, because when you are authentic, when you're talking about something that you actually know how to do, I just said this to somebody, I told this to you yesterday, coach, somebody who doesn't have my experience in a particular area or industry can't even speak to the to marketing to the same degree that I speak to marketing. You can't even really talk about the same topics, even come up with the same ideas just because of my experience level. You are the content, coach. You the content. And that's why I named this keep your eye on the money and not the mess because I think that at the end of the day, if you're looking at what they have as opposed to looking at their knowledge, anybody can go rent a Lambo. Anybody can go rent a jet with your money. And when the chips fall and they don't really have these things, and you've sat out there and you've spent all your money trying to get those same things. I'm just going to say it's because you didn't look at the right thing, right? It's not hard. Content creation is not hard. You know, if you know what you offer and you know who you are, creating 30 days of content is not hard, right? And, but it, and that's the level of consistency that you're going to have to have regardless as to what platform you play on. You know, don't think that just because you're on Instagram, you're going to get more followers than you're going to get on Facebook. Every platform has its own voice. Every platform has its own swag. And you have to go to places that are going to feed you. And I can tell you, Facebook is going to feed you long term. It, it's just going to feed you long term. And so just be aware of the opportunities that Facebook is offering. And we're going to be talking about some of those in the um, in the social media masterclass that's coming up. Make sure you go to bit.ly slash social media salad for more information. But if you are not already proficient, if you've not already mastered Facebook, and I'm going to tell you just a, a transparent moment, I mastered Facebook back in. 2012, 2014, I'm having to rework to remaster Facebook because things have changed, priorities change. And these platforms, they change the algorithms all the time to what's important. And so we have to, if you're going to thrive on a platform, you may not have to switch platforms every five minutes, but you do have to be aware of what's popping on what platform and when and how that relates to your zone of genius and your skill. You know what I could be the best of? I could be the best me. And I know what people can't beat me at and what people can't beat me at is video. And as long as I do video and live stream, I'm cool. I'm probably not going to be no master video editor. I'm probably not going to be that person over there creating videos to upload. I'm going to be that person that just gets on here and flows from the dome, shoots from the hip, give you what I got, and you either want it or you don't. But, you know, follow Facebook because they are about to create some magic. And one of the things we do at small, as small business owners is sometimes we go with the flash and we don't go with the finances. And I think, Coach, you talked about the trends. You know, one of the things uh, that is so important for us to understand is before you can incorporate trends into your wardrobe, you got you got to have some basics. You got to have some. Come on now. You got to have an all-black dress. <laughs> you got to have a black suit. You got to have a white pants suit. You got to have some basics before you and can just work some trends. Then you go get the polka dot. Right. <laughs> then you go get the hounds too. Because if you start with the trends, at some point your stuff ain't going to match. Now, I don't know about y'all. Kiara probably ain't old enough. But I grew up on Garanimals, okay? If you know what Garanimals are, go ahead and say me. Garanimals were children's clothing that matched based on the animals. All of the pants were solid colors, and all of the shirts was multicolored. So if you had giraffe pants, they were red or black. 
Every shirt that went with the giraffe was red or black, so you could not wear no alligator. Christine says she remember. Hey, Christine, hey, sis. You could not wear no alligator with no giraffe or it wouldn't match. You got to start with the basics, but they would always have a solid red giraffe and a solid red giraffe shirt. So you know if you couldn't do nothing else, put them two colors together because they're going to flow. So and that's what we have to do. We have to understand who we are as business owners, what our mission is. What is it that we really want to do? And then start aligning ourselves with the places, the people, the environments, and the opportunities that afford us to do that. Stop saying what you can't afford. It's entirely too much money out here. If you have a broke mindset, Roxanne says she remember y'all telling y'all age, now you telling your age. But if you have a broke mindset, a broke mindset is going to say, um, you can't afford. But a rich mindset will say, it exists somewhere. Let me go find it. And if I need to invest in it, in order to make it a reality, then the money exists somewhere too. Absolutely, 100%. But I think also what I was just trying to say with the, with the basics is, you know, you have to understand some basic things about content creation, some basic things about speaking to yourself as the or speaking from the expert level, right, on social media, um, and really how to develop a content creation plan. Coach, this is one of the things I think a lot of people fail to realize. Content creation has to be intentional, right, because it, ha it has a goal. At the end of the day, I think the reason why being trendy is dangerous is because you run the risk of creating content that doesn't have an intention of driving sales. And as a business owner, that's what I can't afford to do. I can't afford to set aside time to produce content or to document content in any way, shape, or form that does not maybe not immediately, but at some point, drive sales to my business. And I'm going to back it up even more important than sales to me. If the content does not build community for you, does not attract the type of clientele you want, the type of collaborators you want, the type of partnerships you want, if it doesn't speak to the corporation's uh, and, and, and have a longevity to it. Stop creating temporary content that if somebody looks back a year from now, it's so trendy that it's irrelevant. And so the content that you create has to have a staying power, has to have a sustainability so that when whoever finds it on Google or on Facebook, or wherever, because you know, Facebook got a memory like me, baby. Facebook got a memory like an elephant. Facebook don't forget nothing. Remember you had that ugly haircut a year ago? Facebook gonna throw that up in your memories. Remember that dude you used to date a year ago and you didn't did everything to erase them from your consciousness? Facebook gonna throw that up. Tell my remember him. Okay, so, you know, Facebook doesn't forget anything. So you got to make sure that the content you're creating has a, regardless as to what you're offering at this time, the customer can still come to you and get their needs met. And if you're struggling with content creation, I can tell you that's what I'm going to be working on in this masterclass is really showing you how to create content and how to maximize your Facebook usage. And if you're struggling with Facebook or if you don't have followers that are buying from you, and you don't, if you're not growing your following, then you definitely need to go to bit.ly slash social media salad and register for, uh, and I, I'm still up now, Kim. I'm just going to have this discussion in public because that's how I do. I really think we ought to do it next weekend. I need. I think we need to start next Saturday. You tell me. I'll tell me. 
Yeah, let the people vote, but that's fine. Just uh yeah, y'all, y'all let us know. Do y'all want the class this Saturday or next Saturday? Because I, I think that I, I'm gonna tell you some things about it that I think um they really need. But even understanding how to make lifestyle marketing a, a reality for you and your brand. Oh, thank you, TC. Welcome back, sis. Girl, we had a good time yesterday. Girl, I was running around the country fighting everybody about old Will Smith and did not care. I just want to put that in there. For the people that know me, it was just conversation because I'm one of those chicks that when somebody be telling me who won the game yesterday, they both won because they million dollar they million dollar ball players run around in tights chasing a pigskin ball. They getting their bread, y'all. So they all won. Who won the Raiders of the Saints? Everybody. Because what nobody working for free. Okay. The owners won. I think the only losers was the people in the stands. They bought tickets and the people running around. Selling a penis in the popcorn. They about the only losers. And the people who sit at home for hours, hours and hours, I just cannot. It just drives me so crazy to understand how people can watch sports for hours and hours and hours. Okay, you watch one game, but not you finna watch everybody play all Sunday. <laughs> and that's what I'm talking But, you know, if you get your grind on during the week, I do believe in having your guilty pleasures. I do believe in work hard, play hard. If that's how you want to spend your time, then absolutely great. But that's why I named today's broadcast. Keep your eye on the money and not the mess. And people was just rolling out yesterday. Very, very hypocritical. Welcome, UK. Welcome. Very, very hypocritical. I don't com condone. One of my girlfriends said that somebody came under her post talking about they don't condone violence. And she had to slide in a DM to somebody. Remember that time you beat your child almost an inch within their life? You condone violence then, but you don't condone, condone a grown man slapping a grown man. But all of that is marketing. And you got to understand even how to leverage the mess in your marketing. We're going to be talking about that in the master class. How to leverage the mess. You watching it anyway. And you can't say you ain't because y'all watch the Real Housewives or they wouldn't still be on TV. You watch them, you watch Basketball Wives or they wouldn't still be on TV. What's some other messy shows out there? Pretty much all the black women. Loving hip hop, all of them. Oh, Just girl, girl. The shade room, y'all watch all the stuff. The Shave Room got about 15 million followers. Y'all watch all the stuff. And the Shave post. Room is super. It's just all of it. Just all of it. Don't say y'all don't watch it. Y'all do. Real Housewives of Atlanta, Potomac, New Jersey, all the places Boy that they from. <laughs> all the places that they from. So, you know, you have to learn how to leverage the mess, even if you're not messy. But especially if you is. Girl, if you is, just say you is and go on leverage that mess. It, 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 you know what, TC? Any show with our people definitely has mess. I don't remember friends and all of them being real messy like that. Yeah, absolutely. TC said there's dollars in the drama. Girl, I'm going to use that girl. Don't be trying to sue me, TC. But I think when it comes to content creation, hey, Taraya, happy new year. I think when it comes to content creation, if you understand the core and what lifestyle marketing really is, it, it saves you so much time. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you all the way back to what are you really trying to do on social media? Oh, absolutely, TC. They all, all the reality shows. But why do you think Murray Povich and all he do is DNA test. Jerry Springer, if your husband say, we going to Jerry Springer, 
I'm not going to go. I'm going to tell him, you need to tell me what you got to tell me. I always say the same thing. Mm -hmm. What could make a person? And y'all are never bringing me on national TV to participate in this nonsense. What would make a person be that desperate to find out what they got to say that mm -hmm. you go with? He <laughs> say, Mari monetized. TC, you got to message me because you're going to have to be on my Sunday brunch. Um, Mari monetized dysfunction. And how many more times you going to bring? You've been on here 14 times and ain't none of them the father. How but, many more times you going to run out screaming? But that let us know how nasty you are, sir. But that's how the, but that's not just with Mari because he did it with paternity tests. But remember when Montel Jordan used to have Sylvia Brown on there telling people future? <laughs> I don't remember that. My I don't know what was the name? Not Rachel was, Ray. What was the other? What was the girl name? Girl, the original. Sally, Sally, Sally uh Jessica, the young girl. Rachel. Come on, I know who you're talking about. Not Rachel Ray, Rachel Roy, Rachel Zoe, something like that. No, what was her name? The original. I mean, it was the original jump off for uh Miss. And I don't know why she never came back. She tried to come back, and she know. never, uh, she never made it. I know Sally Jesse Raphael used to have crazy shows on there. She, yeah, she got the glasses like mine. But Montel Brown, Montel Brown had Sylvia, whatever her name is. She Sylvia said, Brown. "I remember Sylvia. I actually bought her book." <laughs> <laughs> What was her name? It wasn't Rachel. What was the lady's name? Telling it, everybody future. It was about years Talking ago. About she, they want to talk to their dead cousins and she be channeling the dead, talking to the dead loved ones, the dead pets. I Now, let me tell y'all something. If y'all ever see me telling futures, <laughs> just, well, know I gave, just know I gave I gave this regular life a chance, okay? <laughs> and I had to follow. I'm okay, so if you're gonna uh if you're gonna tell futures, <laughs> I'm gonna say a prayer cloth. I'm gonna have my hair tied up in a scarf. <laughs> I'm gonna give me a crystal ball. Who just know I gave y'all a chance though. That's all I want y'all to know. Okay. They still ain't tell us if they want the class this Saturday or next Saturday. See, that's why I'm gonna have Ricky to say Lake. Ricky Lake. Ricky Lake, girl. That's the first place I saw somebody <laughs> get snatched. Ricky Lake was famous. They will snatch they your to come back, but she ain't make it. Ricky Lake wasn't that good though. She was like a mix between Rachel Ray and Sally Jesse Raphael. That's probably why she ain't come back. And Oprah. TC said, I'm here for it with Sylvia. Tell me, sis. Tell me get ahead in this life. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you know, at the end of the day, you have to laugh about it to keep from crying. And I have really, really tried to go to straight and narrow. But you know, I'm I'm kind of seeing people don't want the straight and narrow. People want the net, they want the myth, they want the lowdown, the gossip. So I'm gonna bring it to y'all with the Sunday brunch. We're gonna be talking about that. Should you be paying your man's bills? We're gonna pull it all out. What else you say we ought to talk about, uh Kiara? Oh, it's a lot of topics. I wanna know this gonna get them riled up. Who get who get fed first when y'all cooking dinner? Do the men get the play first or do the kids get the play first? Which one? Uh, who who get the big piece of chicken? <laughs> who get the big piece of chicken, okay? This going to get them riled up. Who? Because I'm going to tell y'all, they talk about the men or the kids. First of all, I'm going to get the play first. <laughs> That's what, I'm going to sit down and eat, okay? Everybody else take care of themselves. You know that ain't true. You know you're gonna feed them kids first. And you know, George, you know, Joe Tide's gonna get the big piece of chicken. <laughs> yeah, so guys, real, I mean, just to be honest, you know, you have to, it's called trend marketing. 
Uh, girl, you know chicken come in different sizes, girl. My granddad always got the big piece of chicken. Quit playing. You know, and so, you know, somebody gonna get a drumstick that's small. Somebody gonna get a wing that's small. Thighs and breasts, baby, them the big piece of chicken. You know, we didn't always have that 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 a uh, boneless stuff that all come in the same sizes. But seriously, y'all, Facebook is is really about to dump a lot of money into infrastructure, a lot of money into creatives. They they can't be stopped. They can have as many uh, uh, tribunals as they want to. Ain't that what they do on that uh, show Survivor? They can they can keep bringing Facebook to the tribunal. They not gonna get voted off the island, y'all. They got too much money, too many lobbyists, too many hands in people's pocket. But more so, our government is so old and ancient. They don't even uh, they they still buying land, TC. They still buying land. Our government is so old and ancient. They don't even understand the concept of what Facebook is doing. And they think that by bringing him in, he going to snitch on himself. Girl, that's like asking me that I eat all the Oreos. Girl, no. Why you, why you blaming me for eating Oreos? Oh, because I'm larger in size? I need you not to laugh so hard, Mr. Troy. I'm done on that one. Yeah, we got the rap. We got the we got the rap now. That's it. Yeah. It's gonna be a Will and uh Chris Rock. Right. Oh. Uncle, Uncle Troy was laughing like Kiara over there for that one. But I think he watching TV though. I just think oh. I took it personal because oh, he laughed girl. again and I wasn't saying nothing. Oh. Troy, was you laughing at me? TC said that no, he watching TV. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> girl, you inbox me, girl. We're gonna have to chat. We're gonna have to do the Sunday brunch. But y'all, that's that's part of it. So definitely join us. We're gonna have a actually what I'm getting ready to do is go through my total social media mastery. And so every other week we're gonna be having a different social media master class. So if there's something you want to learn, definitely let us know. But I think that content creation needs to be first so you can understand how to spend more time getting in your client's face and spend less time trying to create content. Because at the end of the day, if you're not building community, then what are you doing? And I think that one of the biggest mistakes people make is watching other people market and saying, I'm just going to rip of what that person does. But in actuality, everybody's marketing is not the same because everybody's message is not the same. Everybody's target is not the same. And you're not the same. And to me, that's really the gift and the curse to social media is that we are so different. We are really, really different. And you can leverage that to your best ability. So I'm super excited about this masterclass. Me too. So are we going to officially change the date to? We'll let them. We'll let y'all know tomorrow. Okay. But y'all make sure y'all go sign up for the class bit.ly forward slash social media solid. Um, I'm going to be going over some of the technical updates for your business manager on Facebook uh, so that you can take advantage of a lot of these opportunities. Some of you guys are eligible. You might be eligible for the opportunities, but you don't know how to opt into them or to sign up for them. Um, and you also, there are just so many other features that Facebook has rolled out with um, really making it a lot easier for small businesses to manage uh their you know all of the stuff that they have to do from one simple platform one simple dashboard so if you've not checked out the business suite and business manager yet or you have seen it and you're just not sure how to navigate it yet this class is definitely going to help you um with all of that stuff and making sure you're really just super clear on you know all of the new features that you can access back there 
And yeah, that's all right, it. guys. But we appreciate you guys joining us today. Make sure you share, invite a friend. We're gonna continue to see you every uh Monday through Friday around noon-ish for social media salad because there's just so much money in the metaverse and beyond. Uh, so many opportunities coming up, and we don't want you guys to miss a thing. I think a lot of times you think you have to have so much knowledge, but it really starts at just simple point and goes from there. It really does. So we love you guys and have an amazing Tuesday. Jesus. Bye, guys. Already Tuesday. Already Tuesday. <laughs>